Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. How is everybody doing? I am Joseph F. Olsis, Addiction Master. I'm going to be doing a podcast on The Matrix. The Matrix came out in 1999, directed by the Wachowskis, or however you pronounce that. Starring Keanu Reeves, Laura Fishburne, Carrie Ann Moss, Hugo Weaving. I love the first movie, and I'm sure most people do. There is a majority, I think, are disappointed in where the whole trilogy went. I'll get into that a little bit. I like the ancillary products, uh, the animated Matrix, uh, I think there were like five shorts on a DVD they put out. The video games are amazing. I got a, a fondness for the whole trilogy in general, personally. I do think that like some things, things don't go your way or you didn't think that that's the path it should have taken, the whole idea. But it's not my story to tell. There are disappointments and a little bit of confusion here and there. But in general, I like the whole trilogy. Now, the first Matrix movie coming out in 99 blew everybody away, blew me away. Everything that is talked about afterwards might be legit, but it doesn't take away from the impact of it. And what I mean by that is when you look back and you got people analyzing the tropes and how similar it is, and oh, this is the story, it's the one, or it's Jesus, and the plot. Put together as a product on the screen, it is a breakthrough. It is definitely going to be always remembered as one of the best movies of its day, possibly ever for some people. I really love it, but I don't know if I... Well, thinking about it, it is a movie I enjoy watching every time. Now, the two sequels, not as much. But I do like to watch them all three at once, here and there. But when the original Matrix is on, it is always enjoyment. It's the wow feeling. You still get that nostalgia for that. The first time you saw it in a theater. And some things you didn't know about when you went to see them. I have this, uh, the same feeling with the first Lethal Weapon. I don't remember situation exactly but it was a friend of mine who just on the street he said to me did you see lethal weapon yet i said no he goes oh you gotta see it he didn't tell me nothing about it i went to see it and i was blown away same sort of thing with the matrix uh didn't know much about it so it was just fabulous movie incredible acting everything comes together well it just suits keanu reeves so well and looking back at some of the behind-the-scenes stuff, they put a lot of work into it. Keanu put a lot of work into the uh, choreography and the stunt work he had to do. All the characters with their fighting and their driving, their presence in the movie is felt. And you can tell that there's a love for it. For it. And maybe it's a perfect storm. It comes together and it kind of peters out afterwards. But the first movie cannot be disparaged in my eyes. Even if you look back at it and go, okay, well, this is a simple plot. It's taken from that. I have a similar opposite situation with Avatar. I'm not wowed enough by it. And that kind of storyline does bother me. But I think it's because it, for me, wasn't done well. So I didn't get wowed and it didn't stick with me. Now, The Matrix might have a similar theme. It runs on uh, similar stories, and when analyzed, it can tell a pattern that they were going with. It doesn't bother me, even looking back at it. Going to the second movie, I think the transition was done well. The end of the first one, it's that wow moment where he just you know goes up into the airs, warning them. And I really liked where it went. I was even interested when it got confusing towards the end. I get a kick out of it that he goes into this uh, mine F uh, 
my fucking it's just a revelation to him that might not be so uh unique or jaw dropping to people i don't give lots of premises away and plot points i'll do that if i get a lot of feedback and i want to deep dive into things but there's a part where it just gets a little bogged down in talking and explaining the plot and his purpose as Neo the One. But if you're ever going to come off the first movie with the premise that the world we see is not what you think it is, that we're trapped in a computer world, I think the second one's in that good progression from that. It sort of tries to blend in the politics of what's going on in their cities or city, I guess. Uh, they, it might have been done a little clunky for me here and there, but not enough to uh, shit on the whole second movie. And But the ending, yeah, kind of was like, okay, what? But enjoyable. There's some moments in the second movie that blow me away. Everything they did, it still holds up in a way. I mean, anything I think could be looked at critically and you can analyze certain things. But at the time when you're in the theater and you're watching it, you can't tell half the cars are not real or some of the fight scenes, um, the duplicates, uh, just wearing sunglasses. Like little things that you catch afterwards on digital and, and big frame and that you always adjust to as things get better and better. But I'm totally happy with the second movie. I like it a lot, even with the problems people have with it. I think the third movie is where the issues come in, mostly for me. I don't like how it was wrapped up, but there are moments in the movie I enjoy. I don't roll my eyes so much, but it happens from time to time in this movie. The third makes with movie get gets me to a point and then kind of you know drags me along a little bit. I get to the end and I'm like, okay, this is not what I envisioned, but it's a story that I enjoyed. I liked getting there. The, the ups and downs, the uh, lulls and things. For me it just worked. I do see it though as a critical uh critique or an evaluation of the third movie, you know, how it doesn't live up and I don't think they should but they should have a the foundation should be um, fortified and you know at least if it's not it doesn't have to be so spectacular and uh, anticlimactic in a way I like what they did with their video game they had come up with a bunch of video games and one of them was like all of them in one and you I think they called the path of Neo so in the beginning of the game you can only learn by the end of the first chapter to dodge bullets. And then by the end of the second chapter, and you, know, you got multiple boards in, and you can stop the bullets. And by the end of the game, you're in the third movie and you're coming to the climax. So what the game does is I think they stop it and the Wachowski brothers come on the screen or digital representations from them. And they say, oh, you know, for a video game, we didn't want to... Uh, give it the same ending so all the smiths form into a giant godzilla size uh entity a smith and it's fun i had so much fun the game is incredible one of the most realistic uh game movie adaptions i've ever played some of my favorites are like the two towers and return of the king which you could play on the platforms probably PlayStation 3 genre uh, of that gives you a good era of time. Uh, Path of Neo and all the Matrix games, even the ones that highlighted the minor characters were incredible breakthroughs uh, for me. But the Path of Neo had moves that were pretty long you had to memorize, but they mimicked what happened on the screen. Uh, it just gives me that joy playing it. So... I talked about the three movies. Now, the animated stuff, I really liked. Some of the art here and there just lent so well to the story, fleshing it out a little bit. I think they did really good. That and the video games, 
Now, there are other stuff here and there. It's a great uh, place for fan fiction, too. But as a cult phenomenon, as something that'll live on, the Matrix is going to have a lot of weight always. And now, I hear that they're coming out with another one, and it just happens to coincide. I think the release date of his Keanu Reeves John Wick movie. And I've been joking about it so much with my friend that I don't even know if it's real anymore. Maybe they move things, and plus with the virus, things have been held off for movie openings. As of this recording, it's everything's still closed, but I think it's this week that they're going to start opening. Or, or if I'm correct, trailers are saying, believe it or not, but it's coming out, theaters, blah, blah, blah. So we should be seeing movies coming out again if people are going to risk going into movie theaters. That's another story. The Matrix, I think it's a great innovation in movie making it's uh inspiring to a lot of people maybe for this day and age it might be their star wars it might be the thing they use to give them inspiration and uh attempting to put their story onto the big screen for me it would be more writing uh, if that would be an inspiration but i have friends who have been in the industry so to speak i could see it being a real inspiration especially when you get deeper into the stuff and they got a lot of great stuff the matrix has great specials behind the scenes stuff it's not one of those things that gyps you you know there was a time in a period of time you'd go out and you buy the dvd or the blu-ray and you're surprised there's nothing on it it's just a movie i think it's a good thing that there's a hopefully a trend i haven't been buying things much these days but that the extras and stuff are more plentiful. Like the more you can fit on DVD, more space, more special with Blu-rays. Do I recommend The Matrix? Of course. The original The Matrix is an amazing movie. Great for everybody. Maybe analyzed. It has a little predictable or you can tell what's going on from the beats and whatever. The second movie I like a lot. I seem to enjoy the part that people have a problem with so i don't know what that's worth and the third movie i like it's not my favorite obviously i didn't like the direction it ended in and who knows where the new beginning or whatever i don't even know what they're doing i don't know if it's going to be a reboot a continuation but keanu still got his shit together it's the other actors you gotta worry about I've seen Carrie Ann Moss on Jessica Jones. She looks fabulous, so she's probably good to go. Fishburn? <laughs> I don't know about might have to get him into a gym, put a girdle on him or something. I don't know what to think about the new Matrix movies. Or a movie, movie if it's only going to be one. I'm interested. There's a part of me that's excited, and a part of me that's telling me don't look at things so i'm not really up on if it's even still being made is it coming out is it in production like i have no clue and i'm hopefully optimistic so check out the matrix if you like a future earth that we fucked everything up kind of the terminator thing we created this, uh, the machines decided that we were better off as an energy source. There's a story behind the Matrix and why they created it. That whole thing is robust. I like it. It keeps me interested. It's something I go back to. And the side stuff, the anime, comics, and uh, the video games, all are top-notch in my opinion. Even with the bed rep it gets for the second the two continuation movies not being what people like so i hope everybody's doing well i'll talk to you soon